Welcome to another 3D Vista tutorial. This one is going to be about 3D Vista and creating it and, and VR basically. Um, and so this is going to be in two parts. The first part is the is a basic part of like how to actually get it working uh, inside of VR. And the second part is the options and how to further improve your whole workflow, creating something specifically for VR. So first part, when you create a, a virtual tour like this, um, there's there's no way when you watch it on a phone or on a desktop or in VR uh, that it will um, split the screens. That is a very important thing. Um, so to get to do that, we need to go to 3D Vista and we go to uh, icon button and there we can just type in VR, double click um, and then the icon button is here. And there are some options such as show only if VR device available and media control VR. So this one. Now, if you don't like these icons or you want to do something yourself, you can also create an image, design something yourself in Photoshop, whatever. Um, add action, media control, on click. And then here it says enable VR. Done. And now I preview this. And you'll see that previewing this, it shows this image with exactly the same action than this icon, but the difference is the icon is not showing up and this one is. And that is because the icon is only showing if a VR device is available and a desktop is not a VR device. It's not recognized such as. So um, you would say, okay, well, show only if VR device available, just do this and hey, but here's not these options. What's happening? So. I'll tell you what's happening. This is an image and this is an icon button. So image, icon button. An icon button has different uh, uh, properties as an image. So if you still want a custom image, then you need to use an icon button. Uh, go here and then have an image. Go like this. And then also add action, media control. Uh, VR and then um, right now we have these options available show only if VR device is available so right now this is turned off so we'll see all these three images right now with all the same actions so this is actually um, what we needed and now you understand the difference between an icon button and an image as well uh, with properties um, so well, clicking on this, it, it just doesn't do anything, uh, all these icons and stuff. So um, we need to uh, put this uh, on a VR device. To do that, we need to publish this. So I'm going to publish, publish. And it's syncing right now. I'm going to the address slash work in progress slash VR. There I am. And now I have these three images and I can, uh, well, right now it's a desktop, so there's no point in clicking that. So what I'll do is I go to a VR device and a phone is a VR device uh, because you can put in a, a, a cardboard. And as you can see, it shows the picture. So I'm going to click that. And then it asks me this and the same on the Samsung. So this is an iPhone 7. This is Samsung at a Galaxy S8. And what I do is I use the first option, use default. So use default, use default. And then I need to swap it. And then basically as I turn around the devices, I put this in the, the cardboard, which I don't have because for some reason, I don't really like carpets. So, but just for the purpose of showing you how it works on a mobile, this is how it works. Now, what I do prefer is uh, an actual VR device, such as, a, well, right now I have a Quest 2. I also have Oculus Go, but to be honest, Oculus Go, when you have a Quest 2, you don't want to go anymore. Anyway, but it does work in that as well. So uh, I'm gonna put on uh, the glasses and what I do is I am going to this uh, site. So let's see. 
I, for some reason, I like Firefox Reality, uh, but you can also use the default browser uh, from Oculus. But it doesn't matter, you need uh, a browser. So, so here I have the uh, URL, I put it in there. And as I can see, I can see right now the skin. And this is one of the first very important things of uh, creating stuff in VR is that the skin, it shows up here, but as soon as I enter VR, so by clicking one of these images, the skin is not working. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, that means that if you want to have navigation, you need to uh, have hotspot icons within uh, each uh, media, such as the panoramas, um, or for example, this media thing that's showing around. So as you can see, this is media and it's just flying around and I can click on that and it shows me basically all the, uh, the content that is in the playlist. So let me show you that with Ready Vista. So it shows up all of this content. So let's say uh, the desk, for example, we don't want the desk to be showing up in this little menu. Then we go to desk and include into carousal. We just disable that. And right now it's not in this list. I'm going to publish this. Put on the glasses. And meanwhile, this is syncing to the server and synced right now so I can refresh. And let's go. And as you can see, uh, right now we have Okay, I lost a little menu. Yeah, there it is. We click on the media and right now you don't see desk. Uh, so that's removed from the menu. Now, if you don't want this media menu to be showing up at all, you just find it really annoying, which I can imagine. Um, then what you need to do is you go to publish playlist and in VR settings, you just keep this disabled. So show VR menu, turn it off and it will not show up again. Uh, beside that, right now, when you go to um, another panorama, watch for the center. This, like there's a little green color. Um, if you want to change that green color, you can change it here. Selection color, let's make this yellow, no, uh, blue. So publish this, publish, get back in VR. No, a little too soon. Yeah, now refresh. And there we go. We click on one of these images. And right now you don't see the uh, media menu floating around. And when I go to another, you see that it's blue. So blue, blue, blue. Now, let's say we want to um, add something to the screen here, like the uh, the TV here. What we do is we go here, go to the reception, hotspots, zoom in a little bit, uh, usually as much as possible. Go to video. Well, I already have something imported, so double click. Then I click one of these corners. And one thing to keep in mind is always go to the right and, and do it in a clockwise order, not in an anti clockwise order like this because then it might uh, be a little off. So click like this, here, here. Let's punch in a little bit. Okay, all good. Always add a little bit of blending. So at least 0 0.01, I usually do 0 0.02. And then play on start. So publish publish let's see how this looks like waiting for the sink yeah there we go and right over here we can see the video it's auto playing and I'm like that's nice that looks good that's how I want it so yeah, let, let's see mm, what else can we do now. 
so we have this publish um, now this one is still a little unclear to me what this uh, means the VR rendering quality for cardboard so I just keep it as it is um, another thing you can say pointer is laser right now but you can also put this to gaze so that means you have no need for a controller but you can just look to something and you will go there so let's try that a gaze and we can say the selection time for the gaze so when you stare at something or gaze at something <laughs> um, wait two seconds and then it's selected and you go there you take action so um, it can be two seconds it can be 2.5 whatever so let's let's do it like this publish uh, and see how that works so right now if I gaze to something it doesn't do anything yeah so let's go back refresh and now there's no need you also don't see the controller anymore so there's no need for that I can just leave that and now I can gaze to one of these hotspots and it's selected so and this is one two seconds I can go here but with click and go this is a really annoying thing because you can basically click oh no you can see also the click and go navigation changes when you uh, have the gaze uh, selected in this case so it turns back into regular hotspots so you might be wondering, okay, um, how do I add a, a video pop-up now to um, this in VR? And the first thing about that is you need to add like an image and then an, an action and a, more particularly a VR action. So as we're clicking on this uh, uh, add action, you see here an overview of all the actions and um, the blue VR icons. So whenever there is a blue VR icon, it's VR compatible. If it doesn't have it, then it would not even do the action. Uh, it would not work at all. So make sure there's a VR icon. And then um, let's go for this one, pop a video. We add this and we say select. Now, um, as you may notice, there's uh, this thing called VR distance. And by default, it's set on 100. Uh, sometimes it's set on 50. Um, there, th there's only matters if you use stereoscopic panoramas um, and as most content is uh, monoscopic such as this one we're just going to leave it as it is and there's nothing to worry about um, so yeah that um, and for the rest this is all um, just obvious stuff so let's keep it like that and here you can also see vr distance is set to 50 if i change it it really doesn't matter in monoscopic content uh, only in stereo so we got this uh, we have the hotspot let's publish this um, and I'm going to check it with live guided tour which is going to come after I'm showing you this so here we go so refresh uh, we're clicking the VR image to make it pop up in VR and as you can see right over there there is the image and so I can click on this and it opens up as a VR like a pop-up video everything else is uh, more like black and as soon as I focus then it turns more black so oh, that's interesting effect so that's about it then um, next thing is a live guided tour so in VR you can also do a live guided tour so to do this we're going to start a session as a host we call this uh, host then uh, we're going in VR and uh, there we refresh the page then we are going to join the session allow microphone uh, call this VR And I'm going to disable the microphone uh, because of this video. Otherwise, there's two microphones in the same room. I'm going to connect. I'm going to take the call. And then in VR, 
I'm going now into the VR mode. So clicking the image and as you can see, I'm in VR and what's happening now, I use my mouse. I'm going to click, so three, two, one. And it's not following because I forgot to check this one. So now I'm forcing everyone to follow and you can see in VR, I followed. So now let's go here and I triggered with my mouse, the person in VR to follow along. So let's go somewhere else. Let's go uh, right over there. And you can see in VR, I've uh, gone there. So let's see if we can do the other way around. So the person in VR is controlling um, what's happening. To do that, we are going to uh, click VR. And as you can see, as I'm moving my head, you can see um, what's happening. So let's uh, move a little bit around this there oh i like that pencil yeah no i don't know <laughs> so um yeah and and this way the person in vr can control the screen and this can also be done with a group of people so where there's one person in vr and the rest is watching or uh, the other way around everyone is in vr and one person is controlling where everyone is watching to so um, that can all like be done in that sense now, you might be wondering, okay, Ronald, so when you click here on publish and you uh, publish it, it automatically syncs everything to your server. How do you do that? Well, that is something uh, I got from Rule and Rule has been building a VTP syncer. Um, and this is still in beta, so it's not in public yet. Um, and basically the sync method is set to automatic and it will just recognize when there's uh, new files uh, created and will that then <laughs> then it will automatically sync to the server um, in which I just have to refresh the page URL. And so as you can see, this is like extremely helpful when you're especially working in VR editing uh, and making a project work. So yeah, that's something to keep an eye out for.